Hello. Hello, 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 Samuel. Hello, Nidia. Hello, teacher. How are you? I am happy to be here. Yes, me too. <laughs> My God, someone is in the hospital. Let me see, Samuel. Oh, Samuel, sorry that you are in the hospital. Hello, Edgar. Hello, Ruth. Hello, Gabriela. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, hello, hello. Hi. Someone else is taking classes in, in the bedroom. Oh, really? I have to stay for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Who is taking classes? Your wife? Yeah, my, my wife. Oh, how <laughs> nice. Yeah. What, what is she studying right now? She's Basic. in the beginner ah. level one. <laughs> She's in yes. the baby's room. Yes. <laughs> And you were like, eso ya me lo puedo, eso ya lo vi, eso ya lo vi. <laughs> that, that is true. Okay, that, that would be a review for you. That would be a, a nice review for all of you. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here again after one and a, one week and a half. My God, sentí que habían pasado años. It was a very, very long waiting and I was like, mm. I was waiting for the group, but I am I'm really glad to have you back. Hello, everybody. Mr. Edson, hello. Cesar Guadalupe, how are you? Hello, Catherine. Good evening, teacher. It's a pleasure again. It's a pleasure to see you again. This is your teacher again. <laughs> and the curious thing is that I have to do all the generalities again. You know, you know me, but I have to introduce myself again. Welcome to Intermediate 2. That's very nice. Intermediate two, it's a little bit more challenging. It's a little bit higher level than the one that we were studying before. We are going to have more English interaction, more English practice. For sure, you are going to produce more English. That, that's the idea. And you know the way I work, so that's fantastic. You have the experience of what we do, all the things we do and all the things we do in the classes. Is it, uh, I'm going to allow everybody to enter. We are around 25, I guess, in the class. Let me see. 24, we are 24 in the class. So we're going to wait for all. <laughs> hello, hello you all again, says Ever. Hello Ever, we are very happy to have you here. And for sure, well, Welcome to another module. It is a great happiness to start again, to have the opportunity to be here, and for sure, to have the chance to actually work together in a different class. We are going to continue working what we started in the previous class, right? We were working a lot on simple paths. We were working a lot of vocabulary, but now we are going to work a little bit on a little bit more complicated topics, right? But uh, you will need to read a lot. You will practice a lot and that is going to be very helpful. We're going to have a lot of vocabulary also in this module. This is our first class. Remember that we are going to be working from February 27, that is today, up to March 23rd, okay? We are going to work from Monday to Thursday. Now in this module, we have normal weeks from Monday to Thursday. Este módulo es normal de cuatro días, de lunes a jueves, right? We are going to start today, that is February 27, and we finish on March 23rd. We have 16 days together, okay? Eso 16 días que estemos juntos. We are going to take advantage of the practice. 
for you to do your best in Holy Week. Así si se van a vagar en Semana Santa y van a andar hablando inglés. <laughs> <laughs> you will be there uh, practicing your English. Remember, we start uh, today, March 27, March, February 27, and we finish on March 23rd. Remember that uh, we are going to be working four days a week. Thank you. I will. Okay. I already, you already know me, right? And this is the professional that you have with you. I don't know if it's the first time for any of, of you in the class. Do I have someone for the first time? Tengo alguien por primera vez? Okay, Ruth and Gabriela. Okay. Thank you. It's a big pleasure to have you here. My name is Evelyn Natalie Monterrosa. I am a licenciada en idioma inglés. And for sure, I have 19 years of experience working as a teacher, okay? I have worked in many, many different courses, right? And I have worked in many different places. So it is a great happiness for me to serve you in class. For all the students who already know me, right? I have worked um, for 19 years of my life in this. Este es mi año, voy entrando a mi año 20 de experiencia académica y de enseñanza. So I have done this for a couple of years. Ya he hecho esto por unos cuantos años. <laughs> I, I know a little bit about this. And uh, I have taken different classes, different courses of English. And for sure, I am an INSAFOR certified teacher for all the different levels. So it is a great pleasure for me to serve you and uh, welcome to the ones that are new. It is a great happiness to be part of this group. This is a very, very uh, nice group. They are very, uh, they work very well together. So I know that Ruth and Gabriela are going to be part of this little family that we have here, okay? And I think you are the only new ones, right? But you are part of the family already. Aquí somos como una pequeña sombrita de pingüino, ¿ves? que nos movemos todos juntos. Nos ayudamos, nos mandamos un montón de mensajes, nos apoyamos con la plataforma, hacemos un montón de cosas juntos, así que aquí no se sientan solas. Ustedes han estado aquí todo el tiempo. <risa> it, is, it is important. Tuve, la, tuve el placer de servirle a este grupo en el módulo pasado y tengo el placer de volverles a servir, así que eh, siéntanse parte de este grupo, siéntanse bienvenidos. So, for all the ones who already know me, it is already a pressure to serve you again. Y para todos los que ya me habían conocido antes, es un honor servirles de nuevo. So this is me, and this is the professional that you have at the front. Remember that uh, it is general, but it's important. 80% of homework and attendance, it's necessary to pass the course. You need to have all your evaluations on the platform ready, right? We are going to check the midterm evaluations in the platform on March 10. Okay, el 10 de marzo, vamos a hacer la primera revisión de plataforma, that it's midterm, okay? So you need to have all the midterm complete for March 10. And for March 21st, the platform should be completed, right? Para el 10 de marzo tenemos que haber terminado el midterm de la plataforma y para el 21, toda la plataforma con todos sus ejercicios. Why? Because I, as you know, I am always pushing you to work, right? Ahí ando yo diciéndole, la plataforma, terminen, seccionen, apúrense, apúrense, apúrense. And I'm pushing you to work, right? All of you have access to the platform, yes or no? ¿Todos tienen acceso ya a la plataforma? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. ¿Ya todos descargaron el manual? No. No. Uh, no. No. Aha, no, no. no. Okay. Yeah. You say, okay. Yes, yes. Remember that the manual is on the platform, right? The manual, you can find it on the platform and it is right here. Let me just show it to you. I have it right here. It's this one. Okay. On the platform, when you enter to the platform, let me just share my screen with all of you. Okay, when you enter here on the platform, you are going to find the manual right here, right? This is from uh, 
from the previous course, but for sure you can find the manual in the same spot, right? Aquí hay una parte que dice Students Manual, el de usted dice I2, ok, aquí porque se me abrió en otro grupo, but it says Students Manual, you download it and you are going to have the manual, that is this one, for module number two, right? And you are going to have it ready with unit six. Unit five was the last one that we started before. So we are going to start here with unit number six. Okay. This is the manual that we are going to be working. Here you have the units. And uh, for sure, you will have it ready. Remember, if you need help on the platform, raise your hand. Keep it, keep it raised. And I am going to help you for sure as soon as I can. So. This is the manual that you have to download. If you haven't done this, I invite you to do it, right? I invite you to do it soon. And if you don't have it, I will also share it on the group. Okay, también se lo pueden enviar al grupo por si no lo pueden descargar o no lo han descargado para que lo tengan. Okay, that it's very important for you to have. This is about the platform. Let's go here. Remember, Attendance is very important, right? Attendance is really, really important. So please stay in the class during the six, 60 minutes of it. And one requirement that we have for this time is the camera, right? I always tell you that the camera is important to be. Thank you very much. I have someone who sent the manual already. Thank you. That's effective, effectiveness. I love it. So. The camera should be on during the complete class for me to know that you are actually participating. Right now, I cannot see, let's see, I cannot see Reinita, Catherine, and Ever, right? And Mr. Miguel, I cannot see your cameras. For all the ones, thank you, Mr. Miguel, I can see you now. Catherine, Ever, and Lorena, I cannot see your cameras. But for the rest, thank you very much because you have it on and I can actually see you. So these are the important uh, dates that are coming. Remember in Zoom, right? Participate all the time. Keep your name, your complete name on the platform. Raise your hand if you need help. Keep your camera on. Keep the microphone off if we are not using it and participate in class in a very active way. Remember that I am going to call the attendance every single class and you have to say here or present. Todos los días les voy a pasar asistencia y obviamente lo importante es que al momento que llame su nombre me diga here or present. Here que es aquí estoy, ¿verdad? Or present que estoy presente en clase. And for sure, keep your camera so we can count on your attendance when you uh, speak. The permissions. If you need permissions for the class, you need to ask them to uh, the people in charge of Inglés Corporativo and they are going to give you permissions. I cannot give you permission to miss a class. Yo no les puedo dar permiso para que falten a las clases, pero me informan una vez que he eh, solicitado permiso si es algo sumamente eh, que requiere de su presencia. Okay? Those are the only permissions that they allowed because the rest are, eh, it's obligatory for you to be in classes. Okay? It is really important to cover that. Remember, we're going to work in breakout rooms in some cases, and you can ask for help in the breakout rooms and respect your classmates all the time, okay? Todos tenemos procesos de aprendizaje diferentes. Algunos aprendemos muy rápido, otros aprendemos un poquito más lento, pero aquí nos respetamos todos, okay? So that's very important to keep it in mind. Remember, different activities and sections that we are going to be covering on the platform, for week number one, we have sections one and two should be completed. For week number two, section three and the midterm. For week number three, sections four and five. And for week number four, the final exams should be completed. I always say, okay, the platform progress, it's on you. If you want to finish soon, do it. Si quieren terminar la plataforma en la primera semana, do it. If you want to finish in the first 15 days, do it, right? But the idea is that you advance. Si la quieren terminar super rápido, it's okay, right? Necesitan ayuda, envíenlo al chat. 
teacher, necesito ayuda con este ejercicio. Ya sea yo, ya sea algún compañero que ya lo haya realizado, puede eh, ayudarles. Les voy a enviar el calendario del avance al chat para que lo puedan tener ahí, ¿ok? Remember, it is important to have a notebook and a pen, ¿ok? Cuaderno y lapicero, where is it? Where is your notebook? Where is your pen? Ok, very good, very good. Excelente. Hasta comprar un cuadernito. Qué lindo. Hoy compré la lapicero. Hoy oh, la teacher no. There you go, very good, very good. La teacher no me regaña esta vez porque no ando lapicero. Good, very good job. Thank you, my dear class, for having your things ready. It is very important to have them there. We know that uh, the platform, right? How we work on the platform. Remember, the advancement is important. We have agreements in the class, right? Ya sabemos que tenemos acuerdos en esta clase for us to cover. What is the first one that we have? ¿Cuál es nuestro primer acuerdo de clase? Practice your English as much as possible. Practice your English as much as possible. Practice your English as much as possible. Number two. As for help, we need Number three. Keep your cameras on all the time. the time. Keep your cameras on all the time. Number four. Keep Keep the the off. Off. We, are not we are not using them. them. Keep your microphones not off easy. if we are not using them, right? I know we love to see el noticiero, but no, right? And well, <laughs> cuatro visión now. <laughs> but keep it off, okay? Apaguémoslo. Number five. Attend all your sessions on time. That's important, right? Number six. Participate, Participate, as, much as, possible. As, Participate possible. as much as possible. Number seven. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Number eight. Collaborate, Collaborate with with the the and number nine. Practice your speaking every day. Right. We are going to be practicing a lot. Vocabulary, speaking, reading, writing during every single day. I, I am sure about this, right? Solo me los prestan 16 días y les tengo que sacar el jugo. <laughs> I need to do your best in these 16 days. So remember, take the best out of your virtual class. Participate as much as you can. Enjoy the moment of the class. Set your space, okay? Tengan su espacio para las clases. Ubiquen su espacio. Vístanse cómodos. O sea, no les voy a pedir que vengan formales, vea de corbata. But Dress nicely, right? Nadie ahí sin camisa. Qué calor, ticho. No, please, no. Please, no. Don't do it. Dress nice, right? If you want to be in your PGs, that's okay. La pijama, but nice, nicely dressed. Keep your notebooks, your pen and pencils ready, right? Take notes. Take notes and ask for questions. That's important. If I am busy, send me the question on the chat. Keep your pets away. Tell your family that you are in class so they are not distract or interrupt. Okay. Dígale a su familia. Chicos, chicas, estoy en clase. Recuerden, respetenme esta horita que tengo aquí de aprendizaje. And for sure, keep away any device or television that might distract you. Si de repente le gusta estar viendo tele y se distrae de la clase, busquemos otro espacio. Right. For you to focus in your class. Because in some cases, we, we know that it's nice and it's tentative to be like ah, checking on the, on the television. But keep your camera on and for sure, be focused on the class. Okay, so I need you to tell me three things that you did on your days off. ¿Qué hicieron en estos días que estuvieron sin clases? A ver. Tell me three I things that you did. Uh-huh. I was working, teacher. You were working. Oh, <laughs> me too. You were working. Uh, me too. I work. You were working. Uh, the practice and the application Duolingo. Okay. Duolingo. You were practicing. <laughs> you were practicing in Duolingo. <laughs> nice. That was very good. What else were you doing? Tell me. I'm working in the last week. I have a surgery and I... <gasps> Oh right my! Not. God. That is the reason because I 
can write during 21 days. Oh, really? Yes. Oh my goodness. And where was the surgery on your hand? Yes, in my oh. right hand. Oh my goodness. Was it in the tunnel Carpiano? No. No, it was a, I don't know how do you say kiste? Oh, I think it's a cyst. I think it's the name of that. Uh, Chiste uh, sinovial, that is the... Uh, yeah, it was not dangerous. Mm -hmm. No, no. Okay. It, um, it's only for mal position, uh, bad position for my hand during working in the computer. Oh, okay, good. So you that's why you have your hand up. <laughs> that's yeah. okay. That's okay. Okay, Ruth, I understand now. Very good. Thank you. Uh-huh. Who else? What else did you do in your vacation? Uh-huh. In, in my case, um, I practice in apps, English, okay. and, and follow um, influencers uh, with uh, speaking, teaching English. Oh, that's uh, so nice. And, and then download picture. Uh -huh. And after write, writing and, and in the book oh that's so nice exactly how how great congratulations for all the practice you. that you <laughs> had on these days off that is really good because you took advantage of the time off that's pretty nice Bay, very good very very good so anyone else who wants to tell me about what you did on my absence i was practice listening and uh -huh. reading. Oh, you and practice listening and reading? Uh huh. Hey, uh -huh. English for, for, for dia. Oh, English. Class, 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 Hey, fantastic. Hey, you see, I feel very glad that you tell me that you were practicing your English. I, I feel very honored that in, you tell in, me that. Uh -huh. that, that was a difficult message to understand. Creo que se me quedó trabado, Ivanita, como a medio mensaje y, y, y me quedé así como, what? What happened? Okay. Joanita, ¿en qué estuviste Hello, practicando? Uh, now you're back. Thank you very much. Es una aplicación que se llama Inglés por Día. Eso es una lectura que le envían a uno cada día. Okay. Para que uno la lea, la escuche y la practique. Nice. Send the link on the chat. Okay. Sí. Envíenos el link al chat y todos la podemos bajar. So sí. we can all practice. Yes. Thank you very, very much. Okay, Sandrita, don't worry. I understand your message. Don't worry. So. Today, we are going to start working on a very curious topic, right? That it's called complaints. Do you know what is the meaning of that, people? Do you know what is complaints, right? It's like, Ush. right? The complaints are the ones that you say like, ah, oh, again, again. What is the most common complaint that you do in your house? Here, I know that we have here family with teenagers, but what is the most common complaint that you go every day with it in your house? ¿Cuál es la queja más común del día a día en su casa? I will give you one example. Toys. Everywhere. My brother. Uh -huh. My Do they... are very nice. <laughs> My brothers they... are very nice. In my case, I have problems with my children. Uh -huh. In the morning, when they don't get up early, and I I have to talk and talk and talk, <laughs> and they they uh, they sleep. <laughs> they love to sleep, right? And then you start like one, two, three, four. And the number five goes with the chancla in the end, right? <laughs> yeah, me han contado que así hacen la mamá. <laughs> yeah, what is the most common complaint? For example, in my in my house, the most common complaint is toys. 
hay juguetes por todos lados. Cualquier lado que vea, hay un juguete. <laughs> there, there, there are toys everywhere. And the curious thing is that my, my son has boxes for toys, right? But yeah, ahí están las cajas de adorno para los juguetes. <laughs> And the toys are everywhere, everywhere. If you go to the bedroom, toys. If you go to the restroom, toys. If you come here to the office, toys. There are toys everywhere. So that's my most common complaint. And the morning as well as Ruth. Let's see. Uh, Cesar Guadalupe says that his brothers are very noisy. That is the most common complaint for him. Okay, Edson, what is your most common complaint? Mm. <laughs> Uh, every uh, every day cleaning uh, the of the duck pup. <laughs> <laughs> and no one does it, right? Todos quieren al chucho, pero nadie limpia el pan. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like the, my mother used to say that, right? Ahí lo abrazan todos, pero nadie recoge nada del pat. <laughs> it's like yeah, correct. Yeah, so the dog poops every day. Good. Let's see, Nidia, what is your most common complaint? Uh, like the most common complaint is uh, my children. <laughs> is the um, book, uh, los cuadernos, tirados por todos lados. Books, lapiceros, books, pencils, the colors, the por every todo. Everywhere. Por todos lados, sí. Oh Hasta debajo de las camas, ¿eh? colores. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah and at the yes. beginning of the year ahí está Nidia al principio del año poniéndole nombre a cada voladita yes, <laughs> yes uh, the, the stitches the, yes, oh my the, god the, the sonic man. oh come on yes yeah, and después ahí están tirados oh my god <laughs> so that is a very common complaint Isabo <laughs> what is your most common complaint uh, my, 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 my mom say Isabel, watch the dishes. <laughs> or I don't see TikTok. I start <laughs> repeat every day. Don't watch TikTok. Don't watch TikTok. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. And that's a very common complaint. Edgar. <laughs> okay, my most common complaint, maybe it's not in my house. It is uh, around the, the town. Uh huh. It's like we, we our mayor he doesn't like to help the the community. <laughs> we have a the, the strict awful. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And, and we need he fixed like maybe that's that's a complaint. The streets yeah, are horrible, that, that... the traffic is horrible, the everything is horrible, and they don't do anything. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so where do you live? I live in Nueva Concepción. Ok, Nueva Concepción. Si el alcalde no está viendo, por favor, arregle la calle. Thank uh, you. And learn English with English Corporativo. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Nadie okay. pagó nada por este comercial. <laughs> <laughs> ok, good. Thank you, Edgar. That is your most common complaint. Jancy, what is your most common complaint? The common complaint is the my song is he he hasn't done the homework every ah. day. Okay, that he doesn't do the homework and you are like, the homework. Did you finish? Did you finish? Did you finish? And it's like, later, later, aha, uh -huh, 11 p.m., right? Poor Jancy, terminando la clase, <laughs> Jancy, hay hacer tarea. No, 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 that's not from God. Okay, so no homework. Jose Daniel, what is your most common complaint? Como complete teacher, uh, feed the dog. <laughs> feed the dog. <laughs> Poor dog, my God. Ahí anda el pobre canelo eh, detrás de todo. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, that is, that is a very common thing. It's like, and you say, like, dale de comer a Chucho. Dale vos. No, dale vos. Dale vos. Dale. And no one feeds the dog. And poor canelo is like, hey, hombre. <laughs> Póngase de acuerdo. Tengo hambre. <laughs> So yeah, that's a very common complaint, right? And they say like, I gave him yesterday, but he eats every every day, three times a day. <laughs> like, yo le di de comer antier. 
<laughs> Poor Canelo dying of hunger. So you, uh, that's a, a very common thing, right? Jose Daniel, very good. Let's see, Cecilia, what is a very common complaint that you have? In my house, the video games, because my husband play, my two son play. When my brother-in-law comes, comes to play, so okay. always, always video games. <laughs> oh my Empire. goodness. Ah, I hate that way. Okay, so everybody plays. So stop playing. That's the most common yes, complaint. Yes. Gabriela yeah. Michelle, what is your most common complaint? Um, in my house, my parents are always telling me like, don't be in your room all the day. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Go out of that room. Take some <laughs> sun, right? Asoliate. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say right go out go out and if you go out why are you out right who, who knows right salí de ese cuarto y cuando salí a vagar por qué andas afuera come on <laughs> you told me to go out so it's like okay please focus on something jenny what is your most common complaint well in my case my uh, my most common complaint is that every Sunday I clean the house because uh -huh. during the week um, we are working. But after I finish the, the clean, uh, one hour after is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, a <laughs> it's, it's hard for me because I, I uh, try during the all Sunday to clean the house and uh, the end of Sunday is the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you didn't do anything, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand. I totally understand, Jenny, right? It's like you put all the toys and the clothing and everything organized and then Quiero un calcetín. <laughs> they destroy everything. <laughs> so, and on Monday, it's a mess. <laughs> it's the same again, right? It's like a never-ending circle, right? Okay, Jenny. Yeah, that's a very common complaint, right? Disorder, right? When you do a mess in the house. Yes, keep it organized. It's very difficult. Mr. Eduardo Jose, what is your most common complaint? Uh, I always forgot the keys <laughs> so uh normal it's normal for me always are knocking the door <laughs> and then your mother say don't you have keys and say like, i forgot them <laughs> I, have, I have two pair of, of keys so i always forgot them that happens to me with the charger that's my husband's most common complaint that I never have battery on the phone. I never have battery on the phone because I forget to charge the phone, right? And then he says like, do you have the charger? No, I forgot it. <laughs> and then he he fights with me a lot because of them. Now I have a charger at the office, I have a charger at home and I have a charger on the purse. So. <laughs> and then for it. Right? <laughs> yeah. I need one of those. Se me olvidaría cargarlo igual, but it's complicated. It's very complicated. Let's see, Mr. Miguel Angel, what is your most common complaint? Hi, uh, in my case, I have uh, three dogs. Uh -huh. uh, and going for a walk uh, every day is a, a common member of each member of the family. Okay. Uh, uh, with the exception of my daughter, <laughs> uh, uh, who is in a Gary, she has adolescent shape. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, when they are teenagers, <laughs> it's like, that saca lobos. And it's like, and there you go with the three dogs, right? You're going out, right? It happens. Imagine the, the ones who fight for feeding the dogs, the ones who fight for showering the dogs, and now the ones who fight for walking the dog. And the poor dog is I like... I understand why the problem. <laughs> <laughs> it is a big problem, right? But but then, right? Ah, para chinear al, al chuchito y sacarlo en foto, everybody. <laughs> the thing is like, clean it. 
take it out, feed it, do it, do the things with the dog. Dogs are a big responsibility. Cats and dogs are a big responsibility. Like if you have a little kid at home. So it, it is complicated. Let's see, let's listen to Catherine Alejandra. What is your most common complaint? Um, my most common complaint is my niece uh, stays in my house and is always asking for the cell phone oh. to watch, to watch <laughs> videos. So we meet every every day. Oh, so that, that's a common complaint, right? And then it's like, yeah. I stop watching videos on the cell phone and it's like, come on. Yeah, they they get <laughs> they they become addicted to that. So yeah. you need to be very careful with that. So as you can see here, with all the ones that you already share, and I know that there are many more, complaints are part of our everyday. We complain about everything. We complain about traffic. We complain about job. We complain about studies. We complain about exams. We complain about English. We complain about teacher Nati sending a lot of homework. We complain about <laughs> teacher Nati pushing for, for the platform. And the most common fight that we have in our lives is the complaints with your parents and you as a teenager. That's the most common thing, right? I know most of us, right? We are not teenagers anymore. Ahorita estamos como en la segunda adolescencia. Todos los que estamos aquí. <laughs> But do you remember what was the most common fight of your parents with you when you were a teenager? What was the most common fight? ¿Por qué peleaban sus papás con su yo adolescente? Um, me, my case uh -huh. teacher, uh -huh. me, uh, my parents saying, uh, Edson, go to the store for sweet bread and coffee <laughs> in the morning. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. but but you didn't like it. A ti no te yes. gustaba? Uh, yes, in, in my case, yes. Okay, you but, like it. Yes, but no, uh, like. To, to buy store. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like to buy on the store. Do you know what was the most common complaint of my parents? Nati, another color in your hair. Nati, mm -hmm. another time. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot, uh, now, now you see teacher Nati all, all uh, uh, strict and, and, and very like, I don't know, very like a strict teacher right but I was a rebel right you're not rebelde sin causa <laughs> when I was a teenager I was very intelligent I was very dedicated I was the the girl on the CDE la niña de los diez y todo but I was a rebel I was a rebel my mother used to say Nati y ese pelo rosado Natalie y ese pelo morado Natalie y ese pelo negro Natalie otra vez el pelo Natalie <laughs> that was the most common complaint of my parents right Sorry. The hairstyle. Punk. The hairstyle. I had everything. I had all these, the rocker, emo, punk, all the these. Nails. The nails as well. <laughs> you know, one day I was taken to the principal's office. Un día me llevaron a la dirección porque andaba un esmalte que brillaba en oscuro. <laughs> Entonces estábamos todos en el salón con las luces apagadas, hechos puños, y nos encontraron allá todos encerrados. Because you were checking on the nails, right? Todos estaban viendo cómo brillaban mis uñas. But they didn't think that, right? El director no pensó lo mismo. So they took everybody to the principal's office because of that. Estaban todos encerrados en oscuro. They say, I don't know qué estaban haciendo. And they were checking my nails, right? But they didn't believe. <laughs> so, but it's it's funny. And you know what's the most fun? What is the funniest thing of everything? Y la parte más graciosa de todo es que ahora que yo soy directora de donde trabajo, I remember everything. I remember all the things on, on, my, on my, uh, my teenage years. And I say like, poor principal, right? Pobrecitos los directores de aquel momento, I used to say, <laughs> with me. But I know that was the most common complaint. What was the complaint of your parents? I need some volunteers. ¿De qué se quejaban sus papás? 
or you were a little angel. Uh -huh. Mr. Cesar, what was the common complaint of your parents? Todos eran bien portados, solo yo era rebelde. <laughs> In my KD hairstyle. The, the, the punk hairstyle. Okay, Miguel. Ever? Uh -huh. In the listening, in the listening in heavy metal. Oh. <laughs> heavy metal songs, okay. Ever the Ernesto? Rebel. The rebel one. Yeah, well, in my days, I never used to tell my parents where I was. So <laughs> and sometimes I was in school, I was in the bar, and they never know. <laughs> so okay. ever, where was? Where are you? Where were you? The magician, right? <laughs> the magic, the magician did it again. El mago lo hizo yeah, de nuevo. And, the, and my answer was, uh, well, now I'm in house. That is the important <laughs> thing. <laughs> I am back, right? I came back. Uh huh. Good. Any other example? Gabriela Michelle, what was the most common complaint of your parents? Maybe uh, the most common complaint was uh, that I always fighting with my with my sister <laughs> okay fighting with your sister <laughs> okay <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i know so <laughs> that that's that's a common thing mr edgar it's the same the the most common complaint from my parents was when we were uh, fighting with my brothers <laughs> Sometimes, not not big fighters. But... <laughs> yeah, but a small fight, a small fight. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I remember the same, right? I remember the same with my brother and my sister. We were always fighting. We were always fighting for everything and for nothing. So that was a very common complaint. Here we have a couple of examples, right? With uh, the kids and the parents. The most common complaints of the parents to the kids that they don't help in the house. Was it your problem? Raise your hand. Nadie hace nada, nadie limpia, nadie barre. Yeah, <laughs> that was the complaint of my parents, right? That they don't listen to my advice. No escuchan mis consejos. That's what parents say. They don't listen to me. They do whatever they want. They have strange friends. Did your parents tell you sometime that your friends were strange? No. ¿Alguna vez les dijeron que sus amigos eran raros? No. No. Dress badly and have ugly hairstyles. It was not. <laughs> no, but the hairstyles were beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yo trabajaba para un estilista y él me hacía los peinados. Mm. <laughs> no, but it was like, yeah, my mother was complaining that it was Two, 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 two different colors. So that, that's why. And here. Teacher. Yes. One day share with us uh, one picture of you. <laughs> my, yeah. emo, my emo pictures. <laughs> you will see. It's like, is it me teacher? Oh my God. <laughs> yes. I will, I will look for them. I think I have a couple of them. Gracias a Dios no había TikTok en ese entonces. That they watch too much TV. Did your parents complain about this, that you were always watching TV? No, never. Now the problem is you are always on Facebook. You are always on TikTok. You are always on the phone. You are always on WhatsApp. It's the teacher, the group, they say. Ajá, ajá, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sí, esposa, esposo, yo no mando mensaje a medianoche. <laughs> <laughs> just, just for the record, right? That they don't study enough, right? That's another complaint about the parents. What is the, the complaint from the from the kids to the parents, right? Because in some cases we also complain about our parents, right? And what was the most common complaint in this case? I have here the ones about the teenagers. Look at the teenagers here with the style, right? This is me with pink hair. They nag about chores and homework. What is the meaning of nag? They nag about chores and homework. What is the meaning of nag? It's like, ay, yo hago todo, nadie ayuda en la casa, solo a mí me toca. Yeah, nag. It's like, nah, 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 nah. My mother is always talking about chores and homework. It's like, ay, my mother. 
no, no one helps at home. I am the one doing everything. That they don't like my friends, right? My friends are beautiful. My friends are nice, but my mother doesn't like them. The next one, what is the most common complaint? They criticize my appearance, right? Let me be. And the parents used to say, con ese pantalón vas a ir. Con esa camisa vas a salir. Yeah, it looks beautiful. <laughs> right? That was something common. That they don't respect my privacy. Right? Like Gabriela, that she was saying, go out of that bathroom. Don't close the door. They don't respect the privacy. They always tell me what to do. Right? Parents always tell the kids what to do. You are parents, right? Y ahora vamos a ver quiénes son papás de aquí. Raise your hand. Quiénes ya son papás. <laughs> and you are always telling your kids what to do, right? Nos convertimos en eso que odiamos. <laughs> We became that horrible thing. Ay, mi mamá cuenta hasta cinco cuando me regaña. And now, one, two, three, four. I am there counting from one to five. Yeah, I, I became that. They don't listen to my opinions, right? They always tell me what to do and they, and they don't listen to my opinions, right? Those are the most common complaints about parents and teenagers. And how do you start talking about a complaint? And you say like, my mother tells me uh, that I have very ugly friends. My kids don't listen. My kids have strange friends. My kids watch too much TV, right? That is the way we form this type of complaints, right? Have you heard of parents and children making complaints? Yes, we mentioned a couple of them. And now that you are parents, I know that you have new complaints. Yo creo que ya alcanzamos el siguiente nivel de las quejas. So let's work a little bit on this conversation that we have here. And it says making requests. Making requests is like when you ask someone to do something for you. And in this one, we use this type of sentences that I am going to show you right now. Let me make it a little bit smaller. When you say, for example, sentences like this ones, when you say, turn down the TV, turn down the TV, right? It is very loud, they say, pick up your things, right? The next one. As soon as you hang up, hang up the phone, right? This is another request, hang up. And then here we have, a, well, at least this, the three of them that we have here. I will turn it down, you say. When you say, turn down the TV, you are giving an, an order to the person, right? Turn down the TV, pick up the toys, take out the garbage. Those are requests that we can do to others. We're going to check them in detail Tomorrow, we're going to have a list of them. But right now, we're going to practice the conversation. Can you help me, please, to read sentence number one? Mr. Phil, everybody? Jason. 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 Apaga la tele, mi amor. No, right? It's like, eh. Jason, Jason, turn down Para the TV somos... a little, please. <laughs> yeah. Right? Jason, Jason, because they are calling your attention, right? Go with me. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV a little, please. Jason, 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 Jason turn down the TV a little, please. Uh -huh. Si Jason no nos oye, nos vamos más enojados. Say, like, turn down the TV a little, please. Right, because that's a request. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV a little, please. Jason, Jason, Jason turn, down Jason. Jason. turn down, down, down the TV a little, little please. Ah, uh, but it's my favorite program. But, I know, uh, but I know. It's, very, but it's very, loud. very loud. No, but it's very loud. Ah, okay, I will turn it down. That's, that's, that's better. That's better. better. Thanks. Thanks. Lisa, Lisa, please, Lisa, please, pick up your thing. They are leaving from the floor. In a minute, mom, I am on the phone. 
Sure, sure, no problem. Definitely. <laughs> it's like goodness, goodness. It's like, ay, por Dios, goodness. Were we like this when we were kids? Y así éramos cuando éramos jóvenes. And it's just like, definitely. <laughs> it's like, yes, we were like that, right? Turn no down the TV. <laughs> yes. Turn down the TV, please, right? No es que la vas a bajar, le bajas a la tele. Turn down the TV, please, right? But it's just like, but it's my favorite program. You don't want to do it. Yeah, but it's very loud, loud, right? It's muy fuerte. Okay, I will turn it down. Tick, 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 right? That's better, thanks. Pick up your things, right? Pick up your things. They are all over the living room floor, right? As you can see here on the picture, all the things are on the floor, right? As you can see here, they have everything on the floor, right? Pick up your things. They are all over the floor. And, and it says, in a minute, I am on the phone. I am on the phone, right? As soon as you hang up, right? Tan pronto como colgues. Do it as soon as you hang up. Sure, no problem. It's like, uh-huh, uh-huh, I will do it. Goodness, we were, were we like this when we were kids? She says that to uh, her husband. And he says, definitely, definitely, like that. Any question about vocabulary? No? Is it clear? What is goodness? Goodness, it's like when you complain, you yeah. say like, hush, <laughs> por Dios, Dios mío, right? That is goodness. When you say, por Dios santo, right? It's like, it's a, it's a type of uh, expression that you use when you feel frustrated, right? When you say, ah, oh, goodness. Well, in Spanish, we are very folkloric, right? We have a lot of different words that I am not going to use in English. But in this case, it's like, Ush, that you want to, to, I don't know, struggle someone. There is like, goodness. Were we like this when we were kids? Like, por Dios, no lo creo, right? That is the meaning of goodness. Any other question? Questions, questions? No? Okay, now I am going to start and you are the kids, the misbehaved kids, okay? Ustedes son los mal portados ahora. Students, students, turn down the TV a little bit, please. Oh, oh. 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 oh but this is my favorite, my favorite program. program. Ah, no, but you are complaining. Ustedes son los mal creados, los que no quieren bajarle a la tele, right? <laughs> students, students, turn down the TV a little bit, please. Oh, 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 but this is my favorite, favorite program. program. I know, but it's very loud. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, that's better. Thanks. Lisa, pick up your things. They are all over the floor. In a minute. In a minute. I'm on one t-shirt. You are on the phone. You are always on the phone. My God, you are like stuck all the day there on WhatsApp. <laughs> But do it as soon as you hang up, okay? Sure. sure. No, no problem. problem. No problem. Claro, teacher. No problem. No problem. No problem. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Goodness. I, I was not like that when I was a, a teenager. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. No, I was like that. I was worse. <laughs> but I was very organized. Okay. So now you are my parents and I am the misbehaved kid. Go ahead. Nothing. 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 I know. This is my favorite program. I know. I don't know. No, I don't know. Loud. But it's loud. very loud. Ash. Ash. <laughs> <laughs> tick, 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 tick. Okay, I will do it. That's better. That's better. Thank Thanks. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Nati, 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 Nati,
I have a very important chambre here. Sure, sure, no problem. Good. Good. Yes. We, we will like, like, like this. We will kiss. Yes, mom, you were exactly like me. <laughs> yes, it's <laughs> more. Hey, yeah, Mas. you were exactly like me and a little bit more, right? A, Good. A common phrase, teacher. Uh -huh. eh, pagando? <laughs> <laughs> el karma, el karma. But you know, I, I use I use that phrase and I say, ay, que estaré pagando. And then I say, ah, ya me acordé. <laughs> I do that. I do that when I say like, ay, no, que estaré pagando con esta, digo yo. And then I say like, ah, no, no, ya me acordé. Do as you like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember now, you say, yes. With with my song. I, I do it with my song. <laughs> he's exactly like me, but he's very, he's very intelligent. And he's, he always has an answer for everything. And I, I never win. Yo nunca gano con él, nunca gano. He always has, Yeah, he always has an answer for everything. And he says like, pero tal cosa. And I'm like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> it happens to me very often well my dear class i am going to call the attendance remember when you listen to your names are here or present okay hey alejandra beatriz alejandra angel alejandro angel alejandro angel alejandro se me durmió ahora no vino let's see cecilia de los ángeles Teacher. Thank you. Cesar Guadalupe. Present teacher. Edgar Abel. I'm here, teacher. Edson Stanley. Present teacher. Eduardo Jose. Present teacher. Elvira Lorenza. Elvira. Elvira. Oh, Lorenz. Yes, you're here. Ever. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Michelle. Thank you. Uh, Isabel. Present teacher. Jenny Elizabeth. Mm. Joanna. Present teacher. Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Carla Fabiola. Carlita Fabiola. Catherine Alejandra. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Nidia. Present teacher. Raúl teacher, de Jesús. Hay alguien ahí escribió en el chat que estaba en el trabajo, creo. Ok, ok. Ah, yes, yes. Thank you, Lawrence. I got it already. Thank you very much. And Sandrita also. And Samuel. Ok, good. Thank you very much. Uh, I go with Raúl de Jesús. Se nos fue a vagar. Reina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Samuel Isaac. Thank you. Eh, Sandra Leticia. Thank you. Teacher. Yes. Excuse me. Um, yes. The, uh, Raúl, uh, write in the chat. What's up? Oh, okay, okay. What's up? I happened? won't be class tonight. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. I will check it. And Jancy Astrid. Present teacher. Thank you very much. So teacher, Raul. Teacher, I'm here. I was, I was problem with my internet. Oh, you had problems with your internet, Jenny. Yes. No, I, I marked you already because I saw you before. Carlita Fabiola. <laughs> I, you, I am missing Carlita. Alejandra Beatriz and Angel Alejandro. Okay. So if, uh, do you know a little bit more about them? Let me know. Thank you for the message about Raul. I didn't I didn't check on WhatsApp. Okay, so my dear students, for tomorrow, I need you to have ready the following. Four things people don't know about me. That's something that you are going to explain tomorrow. Four things that people don't know about me, right? Four things that you consider important that many people do not know, but they make you special or different 
four, it is curious about yourself, right? Four things that people don't know about me, right? So I need you to have them ready because you are going to talk a little bit about this tomorrow at the beginning of the class, okay? Four things that people do not know about me. For sure, keep it simple, right? <laughs> Keep it simple, keep it normal. Try to get some things that you consider curious and uh, that you consider important for you to share with your class, okay? So that is going to be the homework for tomorrow. Four things that people don't know about me. And for sure, we are going to continue working on the manual. So please, uh, someone send it already on the, on the chat, right? We have the manual on the chat. And if you can download it on the platform, that will be perfect, right? We are going to be working with the two part verbs tomorrow, turn down, pick up, uh, take out, right? on the different comments. Have a wonderful night, my dear students. It was a big pleasure to see you again in this first class. Tomorrow we are going to continue working. Remember to have the homework ready. Have a beautiful night, rest a lot, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next Thank class. you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. I see you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night, have a good night. Have a good one. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye-bye.